Hello everybody, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel and I hope each and every one of you is having a most calm, peaceful and quiet day today. I'm going to try to get this video up. Today is Sunday. Yes, it is football day. The Chiefs are playing. I don't remember who they're playing. I think it's the Bengals. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I know that there's uh, so much going on in the world today. I just want to say let's all try to breathe. Bring a little peace into each and every one of us because it's just way too much. Being an empath, I have had to phone down, walk away because... I am picking up, every time I pick up my phone, every time I look at any social media, I'm picking up all the the anger, the hate, and it's it's just been so much, um, even though I'm getting all the love in my comments, um, all the other that I'm feeling is just so much, and my heart is going out to all of my friends that are having to experience what's going on in, in their lives. And um, I just want everyone to know that. So that's why I'm not responding near as quickly as I normally do. It's because I've literally had to just lay my phones down and walk away from my own health and well-being. Just know that I am thinking of all of you. Um, I have not taken a shower today. I will as soon as I'm done videoing this and getting it uploaded. Um, I'm also going to do a cooking video today because my friend is like, I need, I need something special. I need you to make me some jalapeno poppers. So I had to go do some shopping. He also needed um, an electric blanket. Oh my word. Seriously, are they really have gone up that expensive? I couldn't believe it. So we're going to try this out. Part of this of stuff is some of it's mine, some of it's his. So you're going to see my stuff mixed in with his because I'm not going to divide the shopping hauls. This is what I bought him. It's a heated throw. It looks like it's going to be quite big. I'm holding it upside I'm so sorry. I'm such a moron. Um, so... Oh, 50 by 62. Perfect. I wanted like a twin size or something just big enough. He's constantly cold. Um, so we're going to plug this sucker in. We're going to see how it is. I love the color. It's not really thick. Um, the heated blanket that he had had quit. And you know, it really wasn't a thick blanket. It was probably maybe a little thicker than... <coughs> A little thicker than the one that I've got holding here and I need to take a drink I brought it out but I never opened it um, which this is fine because he can plug it in if he's cold put it over him or wrap it around himself or you know and have it with his other blankets so you're gonna see me take a drink because I'm not editing this. Um, this is actually quite nice. Um, oh, there it is. I was like, where's the cord? <laughs> there it is. Nice, wrapped up nice. I remember the scissors. Wasn't that amazing? Uh, let's open this. And let's get at this cord. I have an outlet right here beside me. Nice, big, able to find, off, low, medium, high. You can see that. Um, it doesn't need a cheater plug. It takes a regular plug-in, which is good because it's an older house. He's always having to use cheater plugs. If you don't know what that is, it's a three-prong to two-prong plug. Um, let's find. I just literally had it in front of me where this goes in right here in front of me it looks like that this looks like this 
it looks like it doesn't matter which way it goes in. Either I have it right or it doesn't matter. I'm going to turn it over and see if it matters. It does not matter which way, so that's even better. Alright, I have not wet behind me. Oh, I have that one full. Let me grab the one that's behind you. So I'm going to get really close to the... Um, hold on a second. You're going to wiggle. You can get this out from behind you. I don't have the light on. Well, really. Okay. guess it didn't matter. Alright, I have it plugged in. And yes, it's plugged into a breaker switch thing. I'm going to turn this on. Comes on. I'm going to put it on medium and see if it gets warm. Holding it. Just something I need to know. I finally found this. I feel heat. I feel heat. It's working. That's all I needed to know. Oh yeah, this will work wonderfully. Perfect. Ugh, got my hair in my mouth. Okay, so this again is the Bedford Comfort Knit Heated Throw. It is washable, machine washable. Um, of course, you got to take this piece out. Um, it is Buffalo Check, which I thought was really pretty. They only had a couple this color left. Ooh, it's getting nice. <laughs> I may have to get myself one of these if they have one. Um... And uh, <laughs> static is really bad. Um, it is warming up nicely. I like it. Um, I think he'll be pleased with it. Um, it's hard shopping for somebody else. Um, I wanted to make sure it worked before um, I took it up to him and had to come back and replace it. So it is working very nicely. It is getting nice and toasty. Okay, so... That's a good thing. Again, this is the Bedford uh, Heated Throw. It is 50, uh, what did I say it said it was? I seen it somewhere, it said the size. 50, 50 by 62 inches, so it's a good size. It's a normal heated throw. It does come with a booklet. Um, I'm going to pack this up. Let me pause you a second. Okay, on with the rest of the shopping. Like I said, some of this is for meals for him, and some of it is items for me. I also had to pick him up a 24... Oh, this blanket. I did get the receipt out because I had to... So I was going to tell everybody what everything cost. This throw was $22.94. The full size of the heated blankets, Sunbeam, was $72.00. I couldn't believe that. And it wasn't a whole lot thicker than this. So I was really shocked at the cost of them. Okay. I picked him up a 24 pack of Pepsi because, you know, with everybody going up there, everybody, you know, you know, he offers everybody a drink, soda, water. He's got plenty of water up there. Um, and things like that and Gatorade and things. So I try to make sure there's always something there for everybody to drink. And he was getting a little low on Pepsi. And I was like, well, let me take him up an extra 24 pack of Pepsi. $8.78. Um, now, because he wanted jalapeno poppers, I bought him the cheapest pack of bacon I could find today. Because, you know, it's uh, getting that time. 
Everybody was buying stuff for the, the football game today. Um, this is the cheapest they had. It's a full pound. It's the black label, original bacon. Um, this is the cheapest. Um, it is uh, $5.98. This was actually cheaper. This Hormel black label. I like this bacon. Um, I like the taste of it. It's actually a nicer bacon than the farmland. I like it better than farmland. The farmland was actually a dollar more. It was six ninety eight a pound. So this is cheaper. I also um, <coughs> I need to learn to stop talking long enough to catch my breath because I'm by making him jalapeno poppers. I have. A bunch of cream cheese because I got some from the food pantry so I didn't need to buy any. I also bought jalapenos. Um, there, It was less than a pound. There's eight of them in here. And so that, that was a dollar, a dollar two. So that was really inexpensive. Um, this is something I needed for myself. Because I'm going to be baking some other stuff later this week to take up to him. Um, and for myself, it's just nice to have this on hand. Um, American shredded cheese is a lot different than mozzarella cheese when you're cooking. Um, it, it just is. Uh, so, I did pick up a bag of that. That was like two... I do want to tell everybody the prices because prices have gone up so high and I just want everybody to know what everything costs so you guys can tell. $2.28 and you can compare with your area. Um, I am boiling up him some eggs. He does have eggs up there to make scrambled eggs or an egg omelet or whatever he wants while he's up there. Um, and he can just fix something really quick. But he does like boiled eggs um, just to grab and have a snack. Anything that can help him to eat quick, easy foods is a plus. So I picked him up some eggs to boil up a bunch of eggs. Um, our eggs have not gone up. That's only $1.55. So prices haven't gone up across the board. Only certain things in our area have gone up. And we're only missing certain foods in our Walmart depending on the day of the week. Because it depends on what deliveries are being made. And it also depends on what's going on. We've got a storm coming Tuesday. So people are buying up certain things. And we have football today. So things like the bacon. Because people are going to make jalapeno poppers. And little smokies with the bacon around them. And things like that. So there's certain things, depending on what's going on, that our Walmart's going to be out of. Or low on. That being said, I had to pick up um, some Sweet Baby Rays because I am out. He also requested that later this week, when I go back up later on this week, I make another batch of the uh, barbecue chicken burrito bowl. This was $1.97, so this has not really gone up. Maybe, I think, 10 cents. So, that's not bad. And... I did buy a half gallon of milk because there's a few things I'm going to be cooking, not just for myself, but for him, that we're going to need the milk. And milk really hasn't gone up either, I don't think. Um, I think this is supposed to be milk. 2.30, bacon, jalapenos, eggs. Yeah, that's got to be milk. Because it's the only thing I haven't discussed. Two thirty-eight for a half gallon of milk. It's gone up, I think, maybe 20 cents in the last couple, like maybe two, three weeks since the beginning of the, beginning of the month. So that's not too bad considering what other prices have gone up. 
The other thing I did have to pick him up were two, I call them LP tanks down here. They call them propane tanks. Uh, 20 pound tanks at Walmart are $17.92. Other places they're $19.99 or, or even higher um, because he has a buddy heater that he helps heat his house with. So there's that. Um, the other store I went to was, of course, Dollar Tree. Part of it is mine. Part of it is his. So it all worked out in the wash. Um, I paid for his part of the stuff. He paid for it. It all worked out. Now, the other day, I kept forgetting to show you what I bought when I went grocery shopping. Um, and then I picked up two things for myself. This is what I bought, and I'm glad I bought these. These are those flower trays that interlock, the flower pots. I have some out here already because I'm only allowed two flower pots on my front patio. And I stacked in my big feed tub. I have, I think, four of these, and I wanted to go a little higher. The only thing with going higher is I'm going to have to put a hole dead center of both of these and get a dowel and I'm going to have to go down through to make sure that these don't topple over and fill them up with dirt and I'm going to go even higher and all of my flowers cascade and it is beautiful guys but I wanted to go a couple more higher so I did I bought two more and I'm kind of glad I got them when I did because they're out they don't have any more they were gone that quick um I had to pick him up some oatmeal. He likes the maple and brown sugar. He said he wanted some of that. Um, I also, um, I picked up some tuss and mus mucus and chest congestion because that Vapo Cool um, Vicks NyQuil and DayQuil Vapo Cool made me sick to my stomach oh my gosh I mean the day cool wasn't bad but when I took the NyQuil I was instantly I thought I was gonna get sick it just and it upset my stomach for like two days I was like I just don't feel good I feel bad so I'm gonna go back to old school cheap stuff um yeah it's it's that bad so um and then I bought for myself, we're going to have a taste test, guys. This one is the Donut Shop Peeps. And this flavor is, is it just coffee? Just original Donut Shop coffee flavored Peeps. Guys, I love coffee flavored ice cream. I love the Frappuccino coffees. Um... I'm I'm ready. I'm willing to try these. I also got the cotton candy flavored ones. And to go with that, I also got peep flavored jelly beans. And they are lemon, strawberry, and marshmallow and blueberry. So we're gonna have a little taste test. That's gonna be a separate bit. And then because I forgot to buy my um coffee cup to put my coffee cup stickers on decals on um look at these coffee cups that the dollar tree has now they have them like this this is brown and black or is it really dark brown it might be really dark brown but it looks kind of black but kind of almost maybe dark dark brown and then they have a dark dark blue on the bottom with the brown on top and they are massive tall big coffee cups and I was like that llama sticker on this coffee cup guys I had to I was like I don't really need another big old coffee cup but I like this coffee cup and this might just be my next favorite coffee cup if I can figure out how that llama sticker works and if it's microwavable so there we are and that concludes my shopping haul. Am I correct? Am I correct? Am I done? I'm done. Okay, guys. Um, this chick, 
Uh, wow, I didn't buy anything for lunch. <laughs> I gotta cook, but everything I'm gonna cook is gonna take like a couple of hours. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. But that's okay. That's okay. It'll be all right. And uh, so, everybody, I'm going to go ahead, get this video up. Um, I'm going to take a shower. I can't even tell you what time it is. It's probably like 10.30, quarter to 11. So, um, there's that. Um, I can't believe I just did that. But, everybody, I want to tell everyone that I'm thinking of all of you that are going through things. And, um... I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. You all mean the world to me. And, uh, yeah, so just if you have to, just remove yourself from everything for the moment. Turn your TVs off. Try to, um, you know, it's hard. It's hard when you feel like everything's coming on you to walk away and if if you see a friend has shut down and walked away don't don't take it personal um just know that they're probably like i did i had to just shut everything down and walk away um lay my phones down and only pick them up to come back and answer everybody and say hey thank you i appreciate you and i'm here i i'm just had to shut down what I was seeing and feeling and so much that was going on. So everybody, I appreciate each and every one of you. You all mean the world to me and I love you all. Everyone, take care. Many blessings to each and every one of you. Bye guys. I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye.